Okay, good afternoon. I am Councilmember Mark Traeger, Chair of the Education Committee. Thank you for joining us today as we vote on proposed introduction numbers uh, 1014B and 1174A, as well as proposed resolution number 569A, all of which I, I'm proud to sponsor. I'd like to thank the members of the Education Committee who are here, Council Members Barron. Oh, nope. She's here. Oh, sorry. Council Member uh, Deutsch, Council Member Drum, Council Member Kalos, Council Member King, uh, Council Member Levine, Council Member uh, Grudenchik, Council Member Amphrey Samuel, Council Member uh, Borelli, and Council Member R Rodriguez. The legislation we are voting on today relates to fair student funding, which is the main source of funding for most schools, providing an average of two thirds of an individual school's budget through a weighted pupil funding formula. Fair student funding is especially critical because it is flexible, it's actually the most flexible, and can be used to meet the specific needs of each school students. However, the majority of schools still do not receive the full amount of fair student funding that they are entitled to, and we need to get a clear picture of which schools are getting full funding and which schools are not. In addition, the weights currently used for fair student funding don't adequately reflect all of our students' needs. Proposed introduction 1014B would require the Department of Education to report annually on all the school budget allocations allocated to each school in the prior school year. The report would include the amount of funding determined to be owed to the school pursuant to DOE's fair student funding formula and the percentage of that amount actually allocated to each school. The bill would also require the, the, the report to be uh, in machine uh, readable format. Proposed introduction 1174A would create a task force to review and make recommendations relating to the formula used by the DOE to determine individual school budgets. The task force would include the, the chancellor or his designee, the speaker or his designee, uh, representatives from community education councils from each borough, a, a rep from a union representing teachers, a rep from a union representing principals, a parent of a, of a currently enrolled student, and advocates who specialize in working with vulnerable student populations. The task force would convene on March 1st 2019 and would be required to submit its report and recommendations by September 30th, 2019. And finally, proposed resolution 569A calls on the DOE to factor in poverty as a weight in fair student funding formula for schools beginning at fourth grade or later. Currently, they only account for poverty up to the third grade. These important pieces of legislation will bring uh, much needed oversight to our school's budgets and I urge my fellow committee members to vote in favor of proposed introduction 1014B, proposed introduction 1174A, and proposed resolution 569A. Uh, I'd like to thank the Education Committee staff, Beth Golub, Jen Atwell, Kalima Johnson, Elizabeth Hoffman, and Caitlin O'Hagan. I'd like to also thank my staff, Anna Skay, Vanessa Ogle, and Eric uh, Feinberg. Uh, did anyone else join? Yeah, Councilmember Brennan has joined us as well. Um, and with that, uh, I will ask our committee clerk to call the roll and begin the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on education. All items are coupled. Chair Traeger. I vote aye. Barron. I vote aye and ask to be added to all the legislation we're voting on today. Thank you. Deutsch. Aye. Drum. Aye. Kalos. Aye and all. King. Permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. Um, first, I want to thank the chair for help spring a lot of these conversations when it comes to the Department of Education and our children. I do want to add to the record, while we're talking about fiscal equity across the city of New York and our school system, I'm asking all the adults in the room, from state legislators to federal legislators to the city legislation, so that we do right by our children. We always come up with catchy phrases on how we should protect our children, educate our children, how knowledge is the key, wisdom. We come up with all these slogans, but we never put our money where our mouth is. We shouldn't be here having a debate and passing resolutions and introductions to tell the state to give us the money that was committed to giving to us over a decade ago. We got to get better as adults to manage our children's lives. And if we're ways to have better adults, that means our education system has to be top notch in across the United States of America. That all being said, please add me to these legislations, and I vote aye. Lander. Levine. Vote aye on all. Thank you. 
Rodriguez. I would I am please add my name in if I if, if I'm not including any other people. Gordon Chick. I vote aye, and I'm already on two of the bills, so I feel like I'm a trendsetter, so. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Humphrey Samuel. I vote aye on all, and thank you for your leadership, Mr. Chairman. Brennan. Borelli. I on all accept Rezo 569A. I vote 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, no abstentions. Introductions 1014B and 1174A have been adopted, and by a vote of 12 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions, resolution 569 is also adopted by the committee. So with that, we'll just leave the vote open for another around five or so minutes. I thank the members for their support. I've also been joined by Councilmember Cohen. Continuation roll call, Committee on Education, Council Member Cohen. Aye. 